Okay. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to week six. After last week's discussions, after last week's video, uh, somebody suggested that maybe I would want to do a lecture about the upcoming week. So I've, I've had my usual look through the material. I'm not sure how much it requires a lecture, but I think I will go through lesson by lesson and show you what I see. And we'll find out if you maybe have any questions from that. Or maybe I can shed some light on things. And this probably won't be short, but away we go. So overview and essential question, you might notice we'll be looking here at figured bass. So the essential question, how does figured bass fit into my own musical language? I'll be interested to see what you have to say about that. But there's also, we're looking at Roman numeral analysis and macro analysis, so don't take those for granted. And there's noise from my home because I have a family and we make lots of noise even at bedtime, so over oh, we go. So I apologize for that. Okay, so don't forget to make your essential question posts by Friday and give it some good thought and write it out. You're out you've been very good at that thus far. So here's a look at your checklist. I hope you guys are printing these out every week and checking them off as you go. It's a beautiful thing to do. It helped me a lot when I was learning how to do the, uh, how to teach the VHS. So you've got assignments on Friday and a Friday, another writing post, and then everything else is due on Tuesday. And it's the way it always is. Isn't it? We've seen that week in and week out. Build your knowledge. Okay, I know you've already done this before. You're reading chapter four in the Benward. You read chapter four last week. Last week we were focused on the first half. This week, don't skip that. Review it, please. And then uh, continue reading and follow through very carefully with with the figured base. You're going. Some of you are going to find the figured base takes an awful lot of work. I struggled with it when I was in college, and you know, if, if you struggle with it, it's completely okay, but dig in and find out what's going on and ask each other questions and ask me questions, because it comes up again and again and again. It just doesn't go away. So figured base. Uh, see these supplemental readings at the bottom? This happens pretty much every week, so I urge you to please take a look at Teoria, what did that say? How they said use of chords. So we go down here to use of chords. And then there are musical examples and written examples, and it's great to hear how it is that, let's say, Beethoven, you can analyze Beethoven or, or use chords in Beethoven. And then the other one. Harmonic functions, what are harmonic functions, and you have tonic, dominant, and subdominant. You'll see what are harmonic functions. Tonic is its own topic, and it's the same as the other one. You can listen and read, and it'll explain a lot. Please do so. And the dominant and subdominant, same thing. Listening examples, some reading. It won't take you very long, but it should help shore things up for you. So please do that. You know, for your own benefit. That's what it's for. It's for you. Okay, the warm-up. Here's where you quiz each other. Now take a look here at all the different ways, and it's not the only way, but some of the different ways you can write questions. And please use a variety. Don't just give the same one over and over again. I think what I've been reading, there are some very good quiz styles going on. Here's some other things to remember. You write a quiz, and that's by Friday, and you take a quiz, and you don't have to claim it, but just do it, do a quiz, and then grade your quiz. Now, if you take a quiz that somebody else has already taken, well, you're, you're taking away from somebody else's learning experience. So answer a quiz that hasn't already been answered, because that gives somebody else the chance to grade it, and that's part of the thing. That's part of what we're doing here. So give somebody else a chance 
to grade one. And don't wait till Tuesday night to do this because other people, you don't know when they go to bed, they need to get their assignments in as well. So if you haven't done it, they're just going to post the answers, you know, like by nine o'clock. Post the answers. Nobody took your quiz. Go ahead and post the answers anyway. It's okay. And by the way, you should expect somebody to grade yours. So if they don't, write back to them and say, hey, how did I do? I really want to know. 6.3, listen and sing. Practice Teoria. Remember, <laughs> some of you don't remember, you need to do this on three separate days. Oh, but Mr. Cohen, I get it. No, we don't care. Three separate days of doing this. At least 10 exercises, one set of 10 exercises on four more, on each topic, each topic. 90% or above, most of you are good at that. But I've also noticed some of you aren't getting 90, and then you go back and you do it, and you do it again until you get it, which is great. Here's your exercise settings, and you can read those and make sure you do them. Watch out for intervals ear training. It's treble and bass clef, five of each. And same thing again, treble and bass clef and triad ear training. Um, you practice, do your practicing in chapter three, section six of Ottman. Don't know where to find that, guys? Take a look up at the top tabs, Ottman ebook. It's right there for you. And then I will post on Monday, I will post your sight singing. Hey, you know what? If you're happy enough doing your sight singing recordings on your phone and then still posting in the same way through the Dropbox, I'm okay with that. It still comes through for me. In fact, I love getting it in. Um, a single recording. It's easier for me to download and listen to, so I, I love that too. And, hey, don't forget, especially if you're kind of new to this, it, it's true, um, the Teoria that you do, you're going to post those to me too. So make sure that's, that's part of your grade. Make sure you're turning that in too. Create and compose. So we're talking about note flight. Here's all your directions for how to get in there. Here's what the assignments are. And I didn't open up note flight because I don't want to show you what the exercises are already. But suffice it to say, there's a little bit of Roman numeral work. There's a little bit of macro analysis. And there is also some of uh, what we've been talking about all along. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Cohen. Where are you today? Where is your head? Figured base. We'll be doing figured base in this as well. That is excellent practice for you. Uh, there is an article on chord symbols up here within Note Flight. That link is good. And look at this. This one just goes on and on and on. There's so much good stuff in here. And then the other link. I'm pretty sure this is a dead link, Note Flight Keyboard Shortcuts. However, if you Google it, Note Flight Keyboard Shortcuts, I'm sure you get the newest version. Because when they, when the VHS wrote this, Note Flight hadn't made their changes. And now they have. So you can find the keyboard shortcuts, and they're good. You'll like them. I promise. Reflection is actually a part of your essential question grade. So go back into your essential question post and make your reflection. And if you want to comment on someone else's reflection, that's great. That's wonderful. I love it when you guys exchange ideas. Things to think about. How do you feel about your first response to the EQ? Is your response different now? And if so, how? And what did you discover that changed or reinforced your response? They give you a lot of good prompts here. So there should be some excellent writing about this. And then, did it go? Yes, 6.68 people. Hello. I don't know what you guys heard, but that was really loud in my headphones just now. <laughs> um, the AP practice exam questions, I have already taken them. And it is a variety. It's not just from the work you're doing this week. This is cumulative because it's practice for the AP exam that you'll take in May. So don't take anything else for granted. And by the way, if you didn't hear that chord, 
coming from here, and you can click it again as often as you want. Um, you might want to do a little bit of research, a little uh, discovery about why your computer doesn't want to play that. I don't necessarily have those answers. I am a music teacher, not a computer tech teacher. Sorry, but I bet there's somebody who can help you. Okay, so there's that, and that's usually the last thing on there. So I'm looking at week seven now. So there you go. That is the week at a glance. And I hope this was useful for you, except maybe that loud piano chord striking you in the ears. If you're in headphones, I hope you turned it down. I just did. It's still loud. <laughs> um, and if you like this, please let me know. I'll keep it up. Maybe I'll find other ways to tell you more. But uh, that's what I have for now. And I hope you enjoy. I'll see you on the other side of things. Have a great day or night or whatever it is where you are. Go Red Sox.